Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Um, I'm okay. Why are you smiling like that? Uh, do you need a water or? Um, just playing chess. Are you comfortable? Is I the, am. Is the temperature okay? It's hot. Okay. Well, um, tell me about when you decided you were afraid of the dark. Can we not get into that? You know what? I think you need to loosen up. And I have just the thing for that. Ugh. You would. Yeah, it's homemade. You want some? I... I'm your doctor. Do what I say. Okay, doc. Now go to the bathroom and do that all by yourself like a man. All of it? All of it. Is there a follow-up appointment after? No. I see what you're doing here. Yeah. You'll be back. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Custom Night Vision YouTube channel. How do you clean your expensive night vision device? This is a question that we get frequently and my standard response is, well, how dirty is it? Is it Pete Davidson dirty or is it Ruthie Camden from 7th Heaven dirty? There's a big sliding scale in between the two. So under normal use, you can probably get away with like a microfiber, maybe a little bit of rubbing alcohol to clean the lenses, but for the most part, like if you're using these things appropriately, they're gonna get dirty. And when it gets to the point where just simply wiping it down is not going to get everything out of the nooks and crevices that you see on a device like this, you can get a little bit more aggressive. So most night vision devices should be waterproof to some given depth. Um, there, any night vision device that we build here at Custom Night Vision is pressure tested and positively purged with nitrogen before it leaves our facility. Um, one, to ensure the cleanliness of the inside of the device as well as confirm that it is airtight and waterproof. We're gonna cut right to my preferred method of cleaning night vision. This is a big ass bucket of water. Everybody's got water at their house. This is a night vision device. I'm gonna turn it on just for, uh, so you can see that this is waterproof. No, God, please, no, no! Can like. No! Just, like really get in there like that. And then, yeah, it's still on and. Now it's clean night vision, simple. If you want to really get crazy, you could put a couple drops of Dawn in there. I mean, you can wash these things off with a hose. It doesn't really matter. Towel of your choice, dry it off. You know, obviously you're going to have water spots on the lenses. Once that dries up, just kind of make sure it's all gone. Most important on the diopter, the eyepiece, when there's water spots on the objective, you're actually not going to notice it for the most part. But yeah, it's pretty simple. The next topic I want to discuss is black boxing. When using a night vision device, uh, in particular like a filmless or just a really high performance white phosphor tube, there are going to be times when you're using your night vision in varying lighting conditions where there may be bright lights and extreme darkness in close proximity to each other. You may look over, you know, you may be staring at bright lights for whatever reason for an extended period of time. When that happens, a lot of times night vision tubes will get a ghosting effect or a temporary burn in on the tube. Don't freak out. This is something that can be remedied. What we recommend people do before they send their device in in a full panic and uh, just completely commit to the fact that their tube is destroyed is we recommend um, black boxing the device. If you bought your night from vision from us, you more than likely have one of these. This is just a kind of a standard hard case with a foam liner. We recommend turning the night vision on, removing the day cap, putting it in the box, closing it so it's com completely in a pitch black, dark environment, and then forget about it for a day or two. And once that battery goes dead, you come back, retrieve the night vision device, replace the battery, and then inspect the tube. The image that you saw, the burn-in or the ghost in the night vision tube should be beginning to fade if it's not gone already. If it's still not gone, if, if you've made progress in the right direction, 
put another fresh battery in it, do it again. There's no limit to how many times you can do this. It's not gonna hurt the night vision device. 95% of the time, this will remedy the issue. If you recall, we did a video a few weeks back about manual gain. And while we were shooting that video, one of my personal night vision devices was directed at some pretty bright lights for an extended period of time. And I had some significant burn in on one of the tubes. I black boxed the device uh, two times for the total of about, I guess, 48 hours. And the burn in in the tube was completely removed. It, the tube looks like it did when it was brand new. So before you freak out, give this a shot. If you have any questions about it, you can always uh, reach out and, you know, send me pictures of the tube and I can let you know, you know, hey, you're going to be fine or whatever. Um, but this is a pretty reliable method to address any kind of temporary burn in in a night vision intensifier. If you find yourself frequently experiencing temporary burns in your night vision tube, I would suggest seeking out something like this. This is an iris system. What this does is it acts not only as a day cap, but a um, kind of a limiting device as, as for how much light comes into the night vision. It actually aids in focusing as well. So depending on the lighting condition and where your objectives are focused, you can adjust these irises to find a spot where you have crystal clear focus from like three inches to infinity at the same time, which if you're familiar with using night vision, typically you have to settle for uh, a near focus or a far focus or infinity, and you don't have a good depth of field. That's one of the limiting factors of these night vision systems with these style lenses. This kind of alleviates that um, shortcoming of the optical limitations of PVS-14 style optics and night vision in general. Um, the ones I'm using here are called the Jimmy Hats. They're available on warmfuzzy.com. I've been using these for a while. I really like them. Uh, they include a sacrificial lens that is interchangeable. You can get different kind of lenses on them uh, with different filters. So do some research on that. There's a bunch available, but I think they just come with the standard UV protected clear lenses. It basically just protects your objectives as well as the iris. Just kind of a cool piece of kit here that I've been using for a while, I like it a lot, and it, it solves a bunch of issues, especially for those guys that are operating in high light environments and want to go ahead and dial that light intake back on their uh, night vision device. So go check these out. Um, as always, if you have any questions about any of the topics we covered in the video today, send us an email, give us a call, put it in the comments. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate it. It helps us keep making these videos. So y'all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.